Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Note to Self. In today's episode, I'm going to be speaking to you all about my experience with a recent rose dieta that I did that was a casual plant dieta that went super deep for me and I learned so much about myself. I created a lot of space. I gained a lot of awareness and I literally feel like a new human on the other side of this. I've recently created a course on how to do your own rose dieta, how to specifically connect to rose, to open this experience for yourself, how to integrate this experience. And it's super accessible and affordable. So if if this is calling to you, if rose has been making her way to you, and you would like to integrate some of her lessons and teachings, then that will be linked below. So I definitely recommend checking it out. So some of the lessons and teachings that come from Rose are unconditional love, is divine inner beauty and radiance, is discernment and healthy boundaries. Think the thorns, right? Think of the actual visual of the Rose. Like we've got such beautiful softness and strength in the Rose itself, in its blossom. And then we've got the thorns in the stem and just that being a boundary of like this is so radiant and so beautiful but it's not for everyone to touch not everyone gets access to this beautiful flower (laughs) so yeah rose she was making her way to me for a long time and i guess i'll circle back and and just quickly brief you guys on what is a plant dieta so a plant dieta in its simplest form, is basically about dieting with a plant, as in ingesting a plant, absorbing yourself in a plant, meditating with a plant for a specific period of time to start to integrate that plant's consciousness into your being. So I know we've talked about codes on this podcast. So it's like integrating rose codes. So what are the codes that rose has? Rose has boundaries, discernment, inner beauty, radiance, unconditional love, right? These are some of the representations of Rose, like to be soft yet strong. So inviting Rose into your life in a deeper way in a traditional devotional dieta experience, you can open yourself up to receive divine wisdom, divine integration from this plant to integrate the codes of rose into your being. And let me tell you, this was so powerful. I've done dietas before. You guys might find this a little bit familiar because I've spoken into Sananga dietas on my YouTube channel before or even work with other plant medicines. But the wonderful thing about rose is that it's something that is so incredibly accessible to all of us, right? And as long as you know how to actually create the experience of a conscious rose dieta to really invite and open yourself up to receive this magic, which I explain in the course, so definitely check it out, you guys, if it's calling. But like the supplies, let's say, getting the rose petals, having roses, getting the rose tea, using products that are made with rose. Like it's very easy to find and rose is something that's in a lot of baby products because it's gentle. It's actually safe for us to ingest in ways. It's safe for us to be around. So it's been such an incredible experience for me and it was one that came into my awareness subtly and then very strong, right? So there was always this admiration I had for rose for roses obviously and knowing that they're so incredibly beautiful but more so in my life the way that I knew that rose was making her way to me was that people started giving me roses people started giving me products made with roses it started to really manifest itself in my reality to a way that was like hmm there's something about rose and roses here and then I started to hear and come into awareness through one of my friends Ayla about rose dietas and how you can actually take part in this on your own. You can actually have a casual dieta experience versus Amazonian dietas, which is something that I'm going to be doing in the Amazon in the month of April, which I'll definitely be sharing with you guys. I'm going into the Amazon to do a traditional dieta where basically you drink ayahuasca, ingest a plant, meditate with this plant, really go full into an immersive experience integrating a plant really fast, but something like rose you can do over an extended period of time. I personally did my rose dieta for two weeks. That's when rose like signified to me 
she dropped into my consciousness that it was time to close the portal and also I got what I came for and more like my intention through Rose specifically was unconditional love to find unconditional love for myself and for previous relationships in my life and to heal my heart in this way and I got that and then Rose dropped in during a meditation and said it's time for us to close this portal and you can re-enter it anytime that you like but it's important that you integrate me prior to going into the Amazon and having another experience with a plant so yeah it was all just very divine very sacred and like I said it was very accessible to do and in that I just want to inspire you all that like If there's something on your heart, so for me, as you know, I've been sharing about calling in the king, about healing my heart, about going off on this adventurous year where I'm traveling. I've gotten really close to my heart to a new level and I wanted to create the space of unconditional love, create a sanctuary of unconditional love. I shared a previous podcast on this as well in my entire being because I know that the relationship I have with myself is the longest one I'll ever have. So doing the work on my own heart and in my own being, especially when I'm venturing out into a year of the unknown where I'm going to need to hold Zoe better than I've ever held Zoe, this was just so divine for me. The lessons that Rose brought was all about aligning with unconditional love in the body and in the thoughts She really helped me to integrate neural pathways, thinking more in alignment with self-love, unconditional love, and unconditional love with others. And what I mean by that is that when you invite this plant consciousness in, you'll know that there's some sacred wisdom being dropped in to your mind. Like, you're like, okay, that's, that's from Rose. It's very... It's a very spiritual experience and it's so accessible to everyone and you're just like inviting in divine beauty and wisdom. And it's easier, what I find is like, it was almost easier to take on the powerful new beliefs around unconditional love when Rose was dropping them in versus me myself being in awareness and trying to harness and hold belief systems. It was kind of like, oh, Rose is here. She's helping me do the work. And so I'm not forcing this all on my own. I have this unconditional loving support from this plant. So definitely alignment with unconditional love. I felt her energetically working in my chakras. And this was quite interesting, just feeling the energetics of it, of especially after ingesting rose tea each day and using all the rose products, things that are outlined in the course as well. I just felt different i felt upgrades energetically happening i felt more radiant i felt more beautiful and those things have integrated and have stayed i've never felt better in my entire life i literally feel so connected and so close to my own heart so unconditionally loving i'm looking at how can i love myself more every single day and really enjoying this journey and it's a whole new level thanks to rose Also, I integrated and learned a lot about forgiveness, forgiveness of others, clearing space in my own heart, opening my heart, feeling safe and vulnerability. There was so many beautiful lessons that Rose granted me. And the beautiful thing about a plant dieta and that type of experience is that there will be essences of the same. For those of you who do decide to take part in a rose dieta, you'll probably have essences of forgiveness and of course, unconditional love and like boundaries. But the thing is, it'll show up in its unique way that it needs to for you because you're being guided on your unique path and it's going to be absolutely perfect. You're going to get more than you ever expected and it's going to be delivered in the exact way that you need it, just as it was for me. I, I moved through many different phases with rose in this dieta and it was so incredibly beautiful because it was the pathway that I, I personally needed to unconditional love. And what I've found in myself and what I've maintained in myself since closing this dieta is there's no words. There's just so much gratitude. And this plant is incredibly powerful, even though this is, let's call it a casual dieta because you can do it as you go about your day-to-day life. You can do it as you're moving through your work week and whatnot. You don't have to go to the Amazon and drink ayahuasca with your plants and stuff like that you don't have to do that you don't have to be a total worry about it it's like you will get so much 
there's so much power in the intention of opening up to this beautiful consciousness that is Rose. So I invite you to open your heart with Rose. The link for my course will be down below. And I definitely recommend checking it out if she's making her way to you. Maybe this episode was a sign in itself. So sending you all unconditional love today. And I'll be talking to you again very soon. Bye. Thanks for listening to Note to Self. If you enjoyed this episode, please help me out by rating and reviewing this show on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. If my energy is resonating with you and you feel the call to work with me, there are an abundance of ways to do so. I offer one-to-one life coaching programs, mastermind containers, and DIY courses, all of which are available through my website, zoeariel.co. Until next time, take note of all the abundance that surrounds you as you make the most of this game called life.